guys, I hope you're all well. Today I am with Charlie and Julie. What? And we've just got on the ferry to go from Split over to Brech, which is a beautiful island here in Croatia. And we're gonna go explore Brech and see what's going on on the island. So let's go. We're just in the port at Brach. It's absolutely <laughs> like silent. There's not many people around at all. But we're gonna have a quick coffee and have a little look around this cute little port area. And then we're gonna head on a bus to go to find a beach. So we figured that if we went straight to the beach, um, because it's out of season, there's actually no restaurants or bars open there. So we didn't want to just come to Brach and spend our whole day on a beach with nothing to do. So we met a guy, a taxi driver, a local taxi driver, and he has offered to be our little tour guide for the day. He's going to take us to the beach we want to go to and then stop at different places. So let's see what today brings. Voila! <laughs> Let's go guys! Where are we going first? We are going to Olive Oil Museum and I will show you over there, you know, how we made oil three, four hundred years ago. Yeah. Know? And then uh, they will explain you everything about uh, olive oil and tasting, how to taste oil or olive oil. And after that you will get some wonderful food to try. Okay. So yeah. So, t so tell the people, is olive oil something that you would normally eat on its own <laughs> yeah actually we don't have anything else to eat here but oh, okay oil, just olive oil you, you see olive trees all over you know. yeah but it's very healthy so you know people on the islands usually use it for everything for cooking for frying you know and uh, they live around normally they live around 90 years okay so i think they're right <laughs> yeah So we're now in a place called Shkrip, which is the oldest little town here on the Brach Island. The buildings are amazing. There's only like 13,000 people that live here in the winter, 20,000 sheep. So it definitely is a lot more of a quiet place, but it still feels very kind of untouched. And the places that are, like the buildings, are very like they have like a really nice authentic feel. It's really, really pretty. Don't want to sound too morbid, but that is an absolutely amazing place to be buried. On top of the most amazing view, absolutely gorgeous. We're now at the Olive Oil Museum. So let's go see what olive oil they're gonna make us try. Ones are young, black ones are old. Ah. Okay, so we've been given these little shots of it's olive a, oil. No, this is not olive oil, it's a liquor. It's is blueberry it? liquor. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's alcohol. I thought I was drinking it is shot not of olive, olive oil. No, no, no. Okay, we've got blueberry liquor. It's quite strong. It smells amazing. It's quite strong. Cheers. Cheers. Shot it then. 
chat it. Just shout it. No, it's not, it's not to drink. <laughs> it's not a drinking one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's strong. I think I would have preferred olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I wonder if it's like a rakia. Ask him. Is this like a rakia? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, a cherry yeah. rakia. The uh, blueberry rakia. Blueberry, uh, yeah. Myrtle rakia. Did you try an olive off the tree? I yeah. did. Did you like it? <laughs> no. Can I try it? <laughs> it's a trick actually. It's you very, cannot eat them. Yeah, no, you can't. Uh, yeah. He just said that in Brach they actually pick the olives from the olive tree rather than like shaking the tree to make them fall off with machinery because it's so mountainous um, that it wouldn't work. So they actually go around and pick them off the trees by hand. Very traditional. So how would you bring the olives from the tree to the factory? Usually on a donkey. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, in donkey. Work. So we can use you <laughs> yeah, yeah. on your back. <laughs> First on this new machine today and uh, we will see the old system now. So spoiler alert, the old way was much more difficult. Would have thought that would be so interested in the whole manufacturing process of olive oil it was actually really really interesting we had a most amazing lunch as you just saw and that cost around 16 euros per person 130 kuna it was definitely worth it should have drank more of the wine but we didn't because we've got a busy day so let's go to the next stop so this is Vida Gora and the views are incredible down here is the golden horn beach you can see the views of havar and a couple of more islands umbriel definitely must come here We have made it to Zladniat, also known as Golden Thorn Beach. Uh, okay. Literally one of the nicest beaches we've ever been to, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what you can do when you come to Brach, you go to Supata and then get a bus from there to Bol, which is like three kilometers away from this beach. So then you'd have to just walk to the beach. Or there may be buses and taxis and stuff that you can get from to the beach um, so yeah just glad for it out there but it's 100% worth visiting because well you'll see so in the summer there is loads of like bars cocktail bars sun lounges out on the on the beach um, apparently gets really busy but now i'm really surprised at how little people are here obviously it's off season so i didn't expect it to be too many people and i'm also really shocked because from above it looks like the sand like it's a sand beach but it's not it's like smooth pebbles let's test the sea oh that's it's quite cold we're just gonna have a beer chill out and see what life brings us at the beach So guys, we've had such a lovely chill that afternoon on the beach. Now we're in a little town called Pachischa, which is, as you can see, very cute. Um, we're just gonna stay here and explore a little bit um, and try and get back to the ferry for six o'clock. And then tonight we are going for some drinks as it is Halloween weekend. So if you wanna see what the nightlife is like back in Split, then be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification for upcoming vlogs. If you enjoyed this video so far, please give it a like. Let's see what Pachischa is like. Sum your day up in one word. 
Hilly. Hilly. I guess. Um, <laughs> unexpected. <laughs> Some you day up in one word. Boring. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Interesting. Spontaneous. When I'm on the ferry back to Split and gonna head out tonight. So, like I said before, if you want to see that video, subscribe to my channel. I hope you've enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Bye.